Well, that was not Etta James, but in fact, that was Beyonce serenading the President Barack Obama and the First Lady Michelle at their first inauguration ball back in 2009. Now, there's still lots of speculation about who will and will not perform at the President-elect Donald Trump's inauguration. In truth, most of us will have to wait until Friday to find out. But in the meantime, we've asked Diana Adzik to take a look back through some archives for some memorable inauguration moments. Uh, so which one, which performance was actually made your list? Well, what's so interesting about all of this, Michael, is the fact that singing at the inauguration, it never used to be such a partisan affair. You think of Barbara Streisand, she sang for both Democrats and Republicans. You think of Ray Charles, you know, he was a Democrat, but said, I'd love to sing for Reagan. So it's, it's interesting how this shift has happened. It also used to be mostly not celebrities. They had military bands. And then that all changed with Roosevelt and he had Charlie Chaplin in there. And then after that, it was a lot of celebs. So I want to fast forward to the 60s because Nat King Cole, one of the most memorable inauguration performances for sure. Going to give you a look at that vintage footage. That was for JF Kennedy. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. And that, that night read like a who's who of who was a star back then, Harry Belafonte. Tony Curtis, Ella Fitzgerald, Sidney Poitier, and Frank Sinatra was master of ceremonies that time when Nat King Cole performed. So all in all, that was just an incredibly memorable one back in 61. Uh, moving forward to 69, James Brown performed for Nixon. What a backstory here. Believe it or not, he sang, I'm black and I'm proud at Richard Nixon's 1969 inauguration. Confusingly, James Brown actually backed a Democrat, uh, Humphrey, during the 1968 campaign, but you know, when Nixon was asked, why did you want to accept to perform for Nixon? He said an interesting answer. He said, quote, I accepted because I wanted to give our new president a chance to bring the people of this nation together in every respect of our national life. And by the way, he was widely criticized by fans for performing. And following his endorsement of his re-election in 72, he decided not to perform for that one. And James Brown ended up turning around on Nixon. We know that he's saying, you can have Watergate, just give me some bucks and I'll be straight as well as funky president. So, okay, there's that one. <laughs> Let's go forward to Beach Boys because they were a huge hit when they performed at the inauguration for Ronald Reagan. That was in 85. And they were performing the, the four freshmen song, Their Hearts Were Full of Spring. And uh, Nancy Reagan, Ronald Reagan, they kind of coined them America's band. So that was pretty memorable. Anita Baker, want to talk about her because she mm -hmm. performed for George H.W. Bush. That was in 1989. And she sang giving you the best that I got. And, you know, for a lot of people who might not exactly remember Anita Baker these days, she was a huge hit, right, in the 80s. I uh, loved her. Rapture was the album. Yeah, she had this Grammy-winning song, Sweet Love, so that was a pretty big deal. Okay, Aretha Franklin was a huge deal, and I uh, just want to show you that hat. People talked about the first black president and that hat. Last but not least, I want to leave you right now with a clip from Michael Jackson, 1993 Bill Clinton's inauguration. That was a very memorable moment for the big star power. Have a listen to that.